Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing the Ornus version of the UPS 747. So, if you did not know, there are three versions of the UPS 747. On the first one, which is this one, was a complete stickers model. And then the second one was pretty much the same thing that the stickers one was, instead of, instead it was painted. Um, and then the latest one is... Um, the painted model that does not say synchronizing the world of commerce, it just says worldwide services. So now I do have all three models in my collection. So technically I have the complete fleet of UPS models. Um, so the oldest version of the UPS 747, uh, it was pretty much made since 2009, I think, and only made until 2011. Um, and it was made as a single plane and play set. So um, but what really makes it interesting is the fact that it's a stickers model and was not painted. Um, it was it was only made for a couple years. It was only made for about two or three years um, before it was turned into the painted model. Um, so it might have been kind of discontinued and turned or just um, made as the painted model in either 2010 or 2011. Um, I got this plane off of eBay in July for about $15, and it's not, like, really difficult to find. You just have to kind of look at the pictures that the seller has listed um, and see if it is a stickers model. Um, if you kind of zoom in on the images, you should be able to tell if the plane has stickers on it or not. Um, it really just depends if the pictures are kind of um, clear and not blurry and are kind of close up to the plane. Um, but it really shouldn't be too difficult to find one of these if you are, if you, um, do want to get one. So, um, some other information about this plane, it is, um, completely stickers. The only, um, paint on it is really just the brown and yellow. Um, the writing and windows and tail is still stickers, although I'm not sure why on the, uh, most recently, um, released one, or the one that is still being made, why there technically is still a sticker on the tail. Um, I kind of would have thought by now it kind of would have been all painted, but uh, maybe eventually it will be all painted. But for right now, it still is. This tail still does have a sticker on it. But um, all three UPS 747 models were made as a single plane and playset. Um, they both were made as a, uh, or all three of them were made as a normal playset. I think it kind of would have been cool if there was a large playset. Of these, kind of like the FedEx A380 and Triple Seven, um, and also speaking of the FedEx Triple Seven, if you did not know, uh, that plane has been discontinued, which is why it is about forty dollars on a couple websites. Um, people probably know that it's discontinued and are trying to sell it for more money. So, um, it's kind of disappointing that that model was discontinued. Um, I kind of didn't want to get another one, but uh, it's not. It's kind of a little more difficult to find now. Uh, the only Usually, the only time you'd be able to get it is if it is one of those for $40. Um, I'm not sure why Darren discontinued it, because it really was a nice model. Um, I kind of wish it was more, but I kind of wish they did make it as a painted model as well, but kind of disappoint disappointing that they discontinued it. But um, So, anyway, back to the UPS model. So all of these models were only distributed by Darren, and all of them, all the boxes do have the new Darren logo on it since it was made um, since 2009. So all of them do have the new Darren logo on it. But uh, I think that's pretty much all the information about this plane. So there isn't a whole lot of information about it. But so for the review of the box, the box pretty much just look does look like the. Um, other UPS 747 boxes, there really isn't a whole lot different um, than the other ones, but up at the top of the box is the UPS logo and the Tycus plane, and at the bottom is the Darren logo and warning logo. Same thing on the side with the UPS logo and the Tycus plane. And then on the back of the box, there's a UPS logo and the Tycus plane, but what is kind of what is kind of interesting about it um, is right under Right under the diecast plane, it says what usually would be written on the front of the box, which is diecast metal, authentic details, and plastic parts. Um, usually that would be written on the front of the box, but um, for this, it is only written on the back. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, then there is the box art image, which I think it pretty much does look like 
the uh, UPS 747 that is made now. Um, it is slightly different now because um, it does not come with the uh, tug cart to it. Um, it does come with a tug, but it does not come with the cart. I think that's kind of odd, but the uh, model that was kind of made in between both of them, which is pretty much this one, but the painted version, uh, I think the playset is pretty much exactly the same as this one, so there isn't a whole lot different between those two. Um, and then on the bottom, there is the official licensed product, UPS, um, Darren logo, and then all the other usual stuff. So there, I don't think there is any manufacturing date specifically on this plane, but it does say um, right here in the little writing, it does say 2009. So um, that's probably my best guess for when this plane was first made is in 2009 when Darren made their new logo. Because I have not seen any UPS boxes with the old Darren logo on it. So, I'm pretty sure it was made since 2009 and probably made up until 2010 or 2011. So, um, that pretty much is all the review for the box. So, I'm going to pause the video in a second, or pause the video for a second and open up the plane. So, I got the plane out of the box, and it was a little bit more difficult since there was the plastic ties um, around the plane on the little cardboard piece that the plane is usually attached to. Um, those were kind of all on the older models, the older single plane models. There were these plastic ties instead of just the other kind of plastic pieces that um, are kind of just slipped into it that you usually cut. Um, but I kind of like the older ones because you can untie them and then take the plane out and then tie them back and keep the um, keep them in the plastic cardboard the cardboard piece and keep it inside the box. So I kind of did like those a little better. Um, and I always make sure to keep uh, everything that was in the boxes. I never throw anything that was part of the plane in the boxes, except for now uh, in the single planes, the little plastic uh, pieces that um, kind of tie the plane down. Uh, the newer ones, not the tied ones, I always cut those now because it's quicker and it would be more of a pain to try to take them out and put them back in. So. I actually did that on a couple models, but I do not want to do that anymore. So, um, what I always say is to make sure to keep the boxes of your planes, because if they are ever discontinued, the boxes will be a major part of the plane. Um, so, always make sure to keep the boxes of any plane you get, even if it is a really common model, um, just like the uh, newer UPS 747, always make sure to keep the boxes for it in case it does end up um, getting discontinued. Um, and there are a couple boxes that do say, uh, for customer information that please keep the packaging for future reference. Um, if you do not know what I'm talking about, there are only a couple, uh, boxes that do say that. An example is the Fly Russia 747 place that I do notice that that does say it on the back of the box. And another one that does say it is the United 777, um, the newer one that was made. The United 777 does say that also on its box. I kind of think it might have been a newer thing that they added to it, um, and also another model that if you did not know, the United 777 has also been discontinued and is no longer made. If you try looking for it, it is no longer on Amazon um, or many other websites. It's kind of many other websites. It's kind of disappearing. So um, that model has also been discontinued. Um, so I did I did get one a little while ago, a new condition one, just. Um, I got it before they were all kind of disappearing from online and, and from stores. But um, I got one of the last ones that was in the store I always go to, which is Hobby Town, to buy some of my models. So uh, I'm just going to show the back of the box. If you don't, if you do not know what I'm talking about, the customer information stuff. So um, right there on the back of the box is just where on the top um, of all the writing is just where it says the... Uh, GB and then the customer information to please keep packaging packaging for future reference but um, Any models I always say to keep, make sure to keep the boxes for because the boxes are a major part of the plane um, But so anyway back to the review of the plane. So um, I got the plane opened up the stickers are really nicely placed on um, Of course this model has been sitting in the box for uh, over 10 years so I did kind of have to put the stickers back down, but they are nicely placed. There are no um, 
like bumps in the stickers or anything. So stickers are really nicely placed um, and pretty much does look almost exactly the same as the painted version. Uh, the main thing about this plane, which is also another thing that I really, why I wanted this plane, um, if you do notice, right near the back of the plane, I'm not sure if you can really see, but there actually is a cargo door on it, um, and the, the cargo door was only, uh, put on the stickers ones, the first GPS and 47s um, I'm not sure why they weren't put on the newer versions. I kind of may think they make the plane a little bit more realistic since it has the cargo the cargo door. But I really, even though it's kind of hard to see, I think it really is a great addition to the plane, um, which is another reason why I wanted it because it is the only UPS M47 that has a cargo door. So um, comparing it to the slightly newer one, which is the same thing but painted, it does not have a cargo door on it um, on the back. But the registration is the same for every plane. The registration number is the same for all three planes, which is um, N570UP um, and 570 up. So, uh, which is a 747-400 uh, UPS that is still flying. So, has been the same um, on every single plane. So. The only thing that the, re the registration number does not fit right now is actually on the newest model because the 747 is actually still in this older livery with the synchronizing the world of commerce. So um, that's the only thing about the registration number. I kind of think it was kind of more suitable for the older model. But um, maybe once the actual plane's livery gets updated, the newer one will make more sense. So anyway so for the review of the front is the usual 747 cockpit windows and then the worldwide services with the three windows for that are always on the cargo planes and then there is the um door i'm not sure if you say i'm not sure if you call that cabin door or cargo door part of that um then synchronizing the world of commerce pretty much the same thing that is on the other one um and the other thing that is different about the painted one it's really just the logo was kind of more dark on the uh, painted one than the stickers one, but stickers one really is unique. So, um, and then nothing in the middle of the plane, and then there is the cargo door that I mentioned before, and then the registration number that I also mentioned before, and then there is the UPS logo on the tail. So, um, the tail pretty much does look the same as all the others, except uh, one thing I did notice, I actually do like the tail on the older one better. If you can see on the newer one, the um, brown color is kind of a little darker than the actual color of the plane itself. So in certain lighting, like probably from the light on my camera, um, you could probably see that difference. But I do like the older one better. It kind of, uh, I think it is clear the other one is the actual color. But I do like the older plane a lot better. Probably is my favorite model, especially since it does have the cargo door and it is fully stickers, which does make it more unique. Um, but that pretty much is all uh, the review of the model. Like I said before, there is uh, no registration number, or not registration number, there is no manufacturing date on this plane, but it does say the 2009 on the box, so that's my best guess for when this plane was made. Um, there also is no cargo door on the right side. Uh, there is only the cargo door on the left side, which um, is another unique characteristic to it. There's only the cargo door on the left side. Um, the cargo door really isn't extremely noticeable, but um, you can still see it, and it still is a really nice part of the plane. So uh, the sticker um, is the only, the only the sticker is pretty much just the writing windows, and then the cargo door and registration number. Um, the uh, yellow and brown and white on the plane is still all painted. That has always been painted to the plane. Um, they might have, kind of think they might have, uh, seems like they might have made a stickers version of it, um, with that being a sticker, but kind of does make sense, It'd be easier just to paint it, paint it on, so, um, I actually would like to know what the first painted model was, it might have been a, probably was a model released in the UK, uh, as my best guess, all the Darren models were pretty much stickers up until probably about 2011, um, or maybe a little later, I'm not sure, but, so I guess that pretty much is all for uh, 
the review of this plane, so, um, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and, um, let me know if you do have this plane in your collection. Um, the stickers version is definitely a really nice plane, and I do think you should probably get it. Consider getting it. It is a really nice plane, since, um, especially with the cargo door on it. So, it, is, it really is a unique, um, 747, especially since it is different than the other UPS 747s, so... I hope you all enjoyed this video, and remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.